this video covers features specific to the Ableton Live script for Launch Control XL3. The script is compatible with Ableton Live 12 onwards. When using door mixer mode in Ableton, in addition to the information shown on screen, the bottom row of encoder LEDs change color to show the pan position. Blue for left, dim white for center, or orange for right. In door control mode, the top two rows of encoders provide controls for the selected device on the current track in Ableton. If the device has more than 16 controls, they can be banked through using the page buttons. If the track has multiple devices, these can be selected by pressing Shift and either of the page buttons. Ableton Live adds a small blue hand icon to the top bar of the device that is currently being controlled. The bottom row of encoders provides the following transport controls for Ableton. Playback position moves the playback position, Zoom horizontal. In arrangement view, this zooms horizontally relative to the playback position. In session view, it moves the track selection left or right. Zoom vertical. In arrangement view, this zooms vertically, changing the track heights. In session view, it moves the clip selection up or down. Loop start sets the start point for looping. Loop end sets the end point for looping. Loop Active activates or deactivates the loop. Marker Select navigates between markers and BPM adjusts the tempo of the live set. With Ableton's default settings, Record can start both recording and the transport, but only stops recording. Play can stop both the transport and recording. Play also starts the transport from the start marker. Holding Shift and Play resumes playback from the previous stop point.